Manchester United are in need of a squad overhaul this summer. I bet you've heard those words somewhere before, either here on this channel, on another channel, or just a fan base on a larger scale in general. I also bet you've heard these words before as well. Tadebo at right centre-back, Onana in midfield, Elise right wing, Nico Williams right wing, Xerxes up top, or even a Nori at left back. We are at risk as a fan base of just saying the same names over and over again, kind of getting caught in this cycle of just repeating the same stuff. So I thought today we would switch it up, do something a little bit different. Yes, go through the same positions, which we've highlighted in the past, but today suggests some different options. So as usual with these rebuild videos, we will start off with the right centre back position, but we're not going to talk about Tadebo. We are going to talk about Tap Sober from Bayer Leverkusen. The main reason being is because I think he's gettable this summer, but also ticks all of the boxes that we need in terms of that right centre back profile. Those boxes being technically secure in the first phase, comfortable playing with the ball out from the back under pressure. Importantly though, also taking that technical comfort into the next phase of play as well. Being a player who is happy to have plenty of touches on the ball, of course playing in the Leverkusen side which dominated possession, he is comfortable either carrying the ball forward, you know, stepping into midfield with the ball at his feet, or looking to fire passes through the lines into the feet of those more advanced players. In terms of from a defensive point of view, this is an athletic man. Someone who is tall, strong and powerful, able to cover also a lot of ground, being that sort of ground eater on the right side of defence, covering large spaces, defending the channels. Tapsoba does all of that to a really high level. And he's also pretty good aerially as well. He's very strong in the air. And for those reasons, I think he ticks the boxes that United need. So I think he should definitely be on the shortlist. Next up, we've got that sort of versatile centre-back role we're supposedly looking for this summer. That player that can either play right centre-back and left centre-back, or perhaps right centre-back in a full-back position, or left centre-back in a full-back position. Those are the sorts of players that United are being linked with this summer. Who is a different shout for it other than the usual ones? How about Trevor Chalaber? Trevor Chalaber from Chelsea. Chelsea seeming like, as usual, they will be adding players to the squad this summer, meaning they could afford to offload a couple of centre-backs. Trevor Chalaber could be a very, very strong option at probably only 20 to 25 million pounds. Now, importantly, with Chalaber, you are getting that versatility. He can play right centre-back in a back four or in a back three, and he can also play right back in a back four as well. In terms of his actual skill set, again, we've got a player who is the modern-day centre-back, very comfortable playing with the ball from the back, not particularly expansive with his passing, not someone who wants to always progress the play and force the ball forward, but technically very secure, very comfortable playing his way out from the back, a solid on-the-ball player. And then defensively, a really, really good defender, an excellent one versus one defender and a particularly good channel defender. If he was to come into this United side, he would, in my opinion, be our best channel defending centre-back. Very good at covering large spaces, accelerating, then decelerating to deal with the one versus one threat. Really strong player. In terms of aerially, again, he's pretty decent. He's not in that kind of top few percentile for his aerial battles, but again, he is a decent centre-back in the air. And I certainly think he's a decent option for, again, the fact that he ticks several different boxes, including the homegrown uh, box as well. There is also another player which does that, and that would be Guahi, another former Chelsea player currently playing for Crystal Palace. This is versatility. He can play left centre-back or right centre-back to an extremely high level. And I actually think the level he can perform that role is only going to get better. We are talking about here in Guahi, a player who could be one of the best centre-backs in the world one day. I do genuinely believe he is that good. And like I said, he can do it from the left or the right because he is so two-footed. He is so technically good on the ball. Excellent at playing in the first phase. Excellent at carrying the ball out from defence. But also showing a little bit of pauser as well. The ability to manipulate the opposition. Actually take on opposition forwards when playing out from the back. We know that Ten Hag, if he is to stay at the club, likes that in his centre-back. So he could tick that box. Again, also though, the fact that he can play both sides makes him the perfect backup centre-back. Now, I wouldn't sign him alongside Chalibur. That kind of duo doesn't quite make sense. But Guehi, either as backup left centre-back and backup right centre-back, is a really, really good option. And again, United have to consider it. Defensively, he's very, very intelligent. He reads the game well, positions himself well. Decent recovery pace without being an absolute monster. But yeah, he's a really good player. United should check him out. The other position which United supposedly want to improve and really strengthen in the summer in the defence is the left back department. Now the recent names which have been spoken about are A. Nori and Kirkes. If you want videos on those two, do let me know. But there is also someone else United could go for, Miguel Gutierrez. Technically an outstanding player, a player with the ball at his feet, simply phenomenal. Under pressure, able to turn and dribble and carry his way forward. He is a joy to watch when this man gets the ball in a tight space, looks to turn and play out. I absolutely love his game. 
He's really good. I don't know that he is the sort of left back which wants to drop deep all the way into defence and be a, a heavy build-up player. But certainly moving a little bit further forward, sometimes inverting into midfield, sometimes inverting even higher up the pitch than that. Technically, he's absolutely brilliant. He's also a very good passer as well. And in terms of on the ball, he is going to offer you a lot of attacking threat for the fact that he can underlap in the final third, but also overlap. And from both of those two positions, his end product is quality. He's a very, very good creative outlet in the final third of the pitch. And that is the sort of thing that United need. Creativity has been a little bit low at times this season. Adding some from the defence would certainly be a good option. So before we continue into the video, a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, jerseyfifa.com, the home of all of the greatest football kits. Whether that be the new latest releases or the old classic ones like this, Jersey FIFA has something for everyone. And now you can check it out yourself using the link in the description down below. And also make sure to use code JERSEYFIFA for 10% off when you order. As we continue to progress through the pitch, the next big position where United have to sign someone is in midfield. We're looking at that Amadou Onana sort of position. But how about we actually suggest someone different? Check Decore from Crystal Palace. Missed most of this season due to injury, but when he plays, boy oh boy does he play. This is a quality, quality footballer. Someone who once again is extremely good with the ball at his feet. And to me, he strikes me as the perfect double pivot player, which could work alongside Kobe Mainu. Having that balance of one goes forward, one stays back, and they keep kind of interchanging like that. Cech Decore could be literally perfect for that, because technically, he's got a really good understanding of the game. Tactically, his work, uh, tactically as well, sorry. He's very good at understanding where the space is, timing his movements forward, knowing when to sit back. And actually on the ball, his passing is very, very decent. He can carry the ball forward as well. But it's actually defensively I like this man a lot. He is agile, he is fast, but he is also powerful and strong. Again, we're not talking Onana level, but who is, right? The guy's massive, he's a freak, he can do, up, he can do outrageous things really. But Cech Decore would certainly be a good option for that role. I don't think he would cost anywhere near as much money. And I think he's a very, very good option. Crystal Palace have some great players. Decore is another one of them. Then for the other player which could play this position, I've mentioned his name a few times, would be Manuel Locatelli. I think most of you guys know by now that I am a massive, massive fan of this player. I have been since before the last European Championships. He is quality, but his career really has stalled. Not even involved in the Euros this summer which kind of shows that he could need a move to actually kind of revive his career and United could be the right place for that. And Locatelli could be the right player for United because on the ball, we are talking about a player which, in my opinion, can be one of the best dictating midfielders in the world. He hasn't really had the chance to showcase that over the past few seasons, but this guy's passing range is an absolute joke. Combine that with the fact that he has the engine and the power to also drive through the midfield as well, Again, alongside Kobe Mainu, it could be an absolute dream come true in terms of the defensive side of the game. Again, we're not talking about necessarily a ground eater here, but still very, very strong, very physical, good in the air and robust in the challenge. He does tick a lot of the boxes that United need. Locatelli, for me, is probably, if I had a choice, the midfielder that I would go and sign this summer. I don't think United will, but again, Please tell me he is on the shortlist at least because he is so good at football and he is wasting his career at the moment. He has the potential to really explode and go to an incredible level. So again, as an outside shout, United should be watching it. If we move to more of the sort of right wing position, you know, attacking areas in the final third of the pitch, I do think the options are a little bit scarce really. Elise is the obvious one, Nico Williams is the name that I often put forward. And then the other name is someone that I spoke about the other day, Mateus Sula. Again, I'm not entirely sure how you say his name, please someone tell me. Technically, we are talking though about a right half space specialist. Someone who is an absolute dream when he picks up the ball from the right hand side and then moves inside into actually more congested areas. Most players don't like that. Sule does because he is so good with the ball at his feet. He is so intricate and delicate with the way that he dribbles. And if you put him in a crowd of players, he is going to wriggle his way through there no matter what. He is so good at drifting inside. And he's been doing that for the past couple of seasons in a pretty poor side. If you then put him into a much better team, again, I think he has the potential to, to really kick on and take his career to the next level. In terms of what he does in the final third of the pitch, I would still like to see an improvement in terms of his creative output. You know, more goals, more assists in the final third. But his all-round play before that is absolutely brilliant. The way that he glides inside, dribbles past players, is incisive with his passing. Again, we've got a player here who could go on to be something quality. And I hope he is on United's list. 
Although he probably isn't quite the quality to be our starter right now. So again, I don't think United will do it, but I do think United should consider it. And then finally, we finish at the top end of the pitch. We know that we need a backup striker for Rasmus Hoyland, and I think most people are starting to agree that we want someone who can come towards the ball a little bit more. The option for me, I suggested it a couple of weeks ago, is Memphis. He is now a free transfer this summer. He does not currently have a football club. He's so good. And he ticks a lot of the boxes which United need this season, particularly the technical ability. But also, actually, the versatility. This is a guy who could play up front. He could play from the left wing if we needed him to, although it's not really his best position anymore. He is more of a striker. But he could still do that role on the left-hand side if we were desperate. The reason he could do that is because technically he's a very, very strong player. Excellent at taking the ball in tight spaces, his close control, but his dribbling and also ball carrying are all excellent. And then as he gets towards the final third of the pitch, we've all seen the ball striking capabilities, right? We all saw the compilations back in the day before he signed for us the first time. He's a really good player in the final third. His creativity levels, his uh, end product, his shooting at goal, his finishing. Memphis represents excellent business in the market this summer. Again, I'm not going to sit here and say that United should definitely do it, but United have to consider this move. I know the fans might be you know, frowning upon it a little bit because of his past failures, but trust me, Memphis given another opportunity United as the backup striker rather than the main man could be special. He could still do a really good job for this United side. And he's a free transfer. Please tell me United are considering it. And also then Garassi as well. Now, Garassi is a player who I have actually questioned a little bit in the past. We were linked to him before, and I didn't feel that he was the right player that we needed at the time. However, as this season has grown and gone on, he has grown. He has become a much more complete player. And perhaps a confidence player. A player who, when he's low on confidence, isn't so good. But when he is confident, as he is at the moment... There's real potential there and a really strong player. Technically, I feel that he has taken his game to the next level over the past six months or so since I last done a video. I love now his willingness to move towards the ball, get involved in the play, attempt a lot of passes, but also complete a lot of passes as well. Now, he's by no means a creative striker. You know, he's not a proper false nine who wants to create chances for other people. But in terms of using his hold-up ability, coming towards the ball, bringing others into the game, I think he's actually developed into a really good, strong player. And then importantly, in the final third, you get yourself a goal scorer, coming off of the back of a very good goal-scoring season. Again, he seems to have more confidence, but also more willingness now to actually get in the box and attack the ball. And I mean aerially, he's absolutely fantastic. He is one of the best aerial strikers in Europe's top five leagues at the moment. And then his finishing is pretty darn decent as well. So I'll be honest, I actually think I was wrong on this guy when I last looked at him. Or perhaps the situation has just changed. But I definitely think now, he could be a good option for United. And I would imagine he is on the shortlist somewhere. And to tell the truth, I hope all these players are. I don't know that any of these players will join the club this summer. And by the way, if our window, our rebuild, was to be those guys, no, it's not very good. What I'm saying here is, maybe rather than the big left back we're talking about, we could take someone like Gutierrez that sort of thing. I'm not saying this should be our rebuild, rebuilding around these players, but these are players which could supplement the rebuild. So we don't have to spend big in every single position. Maybe you spend big on a right centre back, a midfielder and a right winger, but then perhaps your backup striker, your backup left back, your backup right centre back can be a little bit cheaper. That's what I'm trying to bring across with this video today. Hopefully I have achieved that. Apart from that though, I think we're finished. We're kind of still waiting for the manager situation. We don't know what's going on there. Please, please Ineos, sort out the manager situation because I'm bored of doing transfer videos. I want to talk about tactics. Ineos, please, but please sort the manager out. I don't care who it is. Just let us know who the manager is going to be next season. But um, that little rant out of the way. Yeah, I think we are finished there. Let me know what you think of the players that I've spoken about today. And also let me know if you would like me to revisit any of these players and actually do in-depth individual breakdown videos on any of these guys if you want that let me know in the comments if there's anyone else you want scouting videos on again let me know in the comments but apart from that we are finished so thank you guys for watching i hope you have enjoyed it and as always i'll see you in the next one